back. Yeah, it's that part of the show that I love. It's my favorite part when we mix it up. We have on a Democrat and a Republican. I throw out the topics of the day, sit back and mix up a drink. They mix it up. One rule at the end, we have thoughtful conversation. We shake hands with part friends. Uh, joining me again on set is a uh, famed criminal defense attorney and Iran, Iran critic Jeffrey Lickman is with us. And uh, joining us on Skype, Dan Kavalik, Democratic strategist. And Dan, uh, thank you for joining us via Skype today. Hopefully, uh, we'll get you in here in studio for a little liquid lunch one of these days. But uh, Jeffrey and I seem to think that this is a great, bold move by our president in showing Iran that we're not going to be sending over pallets full of U.S. dollars to the tune of $150 billion. They attack our embassy. We take them out with a tomahawk. What do you say? Yeah, I, I don't agree, uh, as you might guess. Uh, I actually wrote a book on this subject, The Plot to Attack Iran. I, I don't think, frankly, Iran is uh, an enemy of the United an States. We have, we have to remember that Iran actually assisted the U.S. after 9-11 in fighting the Taliban in Afghanistan, in going after al-Qaeda. And this militia group in Iraq has been on the front line in fighting ISIS in Iraq. And it's not even clear, by the way, uh, that that militia group had anything to do uh, with the uh, attack which the U.S. The general appointed. just happened, Jeff, the general this just is, happened to be I, at the I, embassy. I tell you, we have him there. Dan, with all respect, I don't know what you're smoking down there, but I'd like to get some of that. Uh, Iran is our friend. Uh, why do they kill so many Americans? Why have they used the uh, uh, improvised uh, devices to maim so many Americans? Why have they attacked our allies? Why have they threatened to destroy America? Because they're our friends. Why do they fund uh, terrorists in Yemen, in Syria? They helped Assad gas children. Does that not count as something that we should consider bad? I, I mean, I suppose uh, Hitler well, is okay I, I, too. Hey, Hang on a second, it's my turn. Yeah. It's my turn now. They have funded Hezbollah, which has 10,000 rockets directed at Israel. Is Hezbollah good? Is, is Hassan Nasrallah good? Uh, what about in, in Gaza? You've got Hamas. Is Hamas our friends? They've killed Americans. Uh, come on, are you kidding? Remember Klinghoffer, Leon Klinghoffer? They shot him and pushed him off a boat? That was Hamas. What about Islamic Jihad? Uh, I mean, you've got to be kidding me. What about in Iraq, the killing that they've done to suggest that? Yes, they did help in, with ISIS, and I get that. I understand understand that point, but they didn't do it to help America. They did it because it was their enemy, too, and we had a common enemy. A broken clock is right twice a day. Yeah, but they offered after 9-11 to assist the United States, They and they helped us. with That was acknowledged. They even offered to negotiate with the U.S. over all issues the U.S. was concerned about, including the support for Hezbollah. The U.S. ignored that. Meanwhile, the U.S. Help does not with Hezbollah. Them. They give Hezbollah a hundred million dollars a year. That is for rockets to kill Jews. They give uh, Hamas tens of millions of dollars a year. That is for rockets to kill Jews. Now I understand that Jews may not be important to a leftist. They're important to me. Here's the question: Why did we go into? Libya and take out Gaddafi when he was on his knees begging America to help, actually helping, agreed to disarm, agreed to complete transparency, and why is that Obama and Hillary Clinton went in there without congressional approval and engaged in, what, a three-month war? And now, what do we have in Libya, son? We've got mayhem, we've got terrorists, and they're killing everybody. Had okay. we kept the strong man in okay. place, guess First what? Call. We'd be in better shape, and you know it. I agree. I oppose the war in Libya. I think that that was illegal, it was immoral, it I was counterproductive. I think Obama is a war criminal for having engaged in it. They are now selling slaves on the streets of Libya. And frankly, Gaddafi, just like Iran, was one of the greatest enemies of Al-Qaeda. So, so and, and we knew that by getting rid of him, we knew, and we know by emails that Sidney Blumenthal sent out to Hillary Clinton, uh, that there was a good chance jihadism would spread throughout northern Africa and the Middle East if we got rid of Gaddafi, and the U.S. did it anyway. Tell me something. But I see what Trump is doing now is exactly what he criticized Obama for in Libya. Listen, Iran is not... Uh, Gaddafi, uh, Libya is not Iran. Iran is the largest state sponsor of terror on the planet. You should be applauding today. This guy has gassed 
children. He's gassed children. He has committed atrocities in a dozen different states. I, he is responsible for a Muslim true. terror attack, an Iranian terror attack in the District of Columbia. Dan, that's so, not true. Dan, you're that, human. that Assad gassed children? You you're, ask, you're human. Dan, you're a human, right. human, you're human right. rights yeah. attorney. Take a, so you need to take a blood alcohol level test. Because I think you might be drunk. You might have forgotten about that. Dan. You know, uh, you're a human rights attorney. You don't, you don't think this... Of the world. Dude, listen right. to me. Dan, a bad Dan, man. Dan, Hitler was killed Dan, last Dan, night. You should Dan, applaud Dan, it. Dan, Just Dan. applaud it. You don't have to always be political. Just applaud the fact that an evil terrorist, the worst guy in Iran, which is really bad, is dead now. We should well, applaud I it. You can hate Trump tomorrow. But today, that. let's, let's also, applaud him. Dan. We may be on the verge of a world war now because We may be. We may be. We may be. They weren't there. How was Iran going to attack us in a war? They have no money. They've got no air force. They've got no navy. Their people in the street are starving and protesting. What can they do? They're going to launch what? An attack well, against America? Where? Well, please, Jeff. You got to you got to take out the bad guys right, when you have can. To bring down the yeah. hammer on this. Hey, Dan. You belong in Gaza. That, that, You'd be good in Gaza. The they love you in Gaza. Okay. They kill right, you, right, but right, they I, love I, you. I, I don't break this out often, but I may have to bring out the hammer. All right. I'm putting I'm using the gavel. Can you smoke the gavel? All right, shut off Dan's yeah. mic. Shut off the mic. The, guy, okay. the guy's high as a Dan, kite right now. Um, I know you're a human rights attorney, like talking so I'm to surprised Cone. you wouldn't be concerned you're, about you're, the attack oh on my children God. Listen in to this Syria. Guy. Drag him um, off. Cut his mic. I just want to mention. Put I down the pipe. Put okay. down the pipe. Hitler I did is wanna, dead. I did want to mention. This guy, you would love to support Hitler if you could. <laughs> you would. You would I, say that he's a wonderful guy. He just maybe doesn't like Jews a little the bit. One way Stop to, it. It seems to me the one way to get Democrats to like Iran is to take out their number one leader of proxy wars across he, the Mideast. John, he know, is the worst guy I, in Iran. He is the you. worst he, he, guy in Iran. He's worse than, maybe as bad as the Ayatollah. He's worse than Baghdadi. By and far. He's worse than Bin Laden for one reason. They didn't have a state behind them with oil and government and a military apparatus where they could make mass critical mass equipment. They were working on a shoestring with funding to a million levels. They levels. weren't so taking this guy over country worse. after country. I mean, look what Iran is occupying. They've, they're occupying right now uh, Lebanon, we know that, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, they're in the Bahrain, they're in Gaza. They don't give the Gazans, they don't give the poor Palestinians any money uh, for shelters or food. They give them money for rockets to kill Jews. And that's what this liberal is supporting. Crap like this. Dan, I want to I want to thank you for coming on and mixing it up. Pleasure, we always Dan. we always we always try to get always a good a joy. We always try to get a good scrap. I know um, you're a human rights attorney, so I thought you'd be somewhat concerned about the gassing of children in Syria. But I do want to mention that if anybody knows one side of the story, it's you. You were the author of the book, The Plot to Attack Iran, how the CIA and Deep State don't have conspired this Please don't. to vilify Iran. So if you agree or you want to know more about how they come up with the justifications on the other side, you may want to check out Dan Kavalik's book. You're a good sport, Dan. Thank you so thank much you. for giving the point of view. That's what we try to do all the time, Jeffrey. Thank you for not only being a famed criminal defense attorney, but a mega media entertainer um, <laughs> because you make good television. And my goal every day right here on Liquid Lunch is to make television great again. And uh, we're going to continue doing that right after this when we come back with Jaden Horn.